Welcome to my channel. I've been asked to react to a song called Angels by Robbie Williams. And I've never heard of this guy and don't know anything about him. So I did a little bit of research. And uh, apparently he's very popular in England. I've never heard of him. Uh, but the person who requested this song said... <clears throat> Excuse me. Want to see your view on the song and any meaning that it gives you. So, and that's pretty much what I do with every song, but I'll pay special attention to that request. And we'll see where we go. But before we do that... <coughs> but before we do that, I do have to thank you for coming to my channel for watching my videos, for commenting, for requesting videos, and for being really wonderful people. I really do appreciate you. As I do with every artist that I feature on my channel, I'll go to Robbie's channel, I'll get all of his links, and I'll put them in the description of my video. All you have to do is click on the more link on my description and you'll see those links. What I ask you to do then is to support the artists that I feature by subscribing to their YouTube channels, by following them on social media, and by buying their music if you like their music. So this is... <laughs> Skip the ad here. You've watched me grow... Oops. Hold on. Don't want to do this till I get my sound on. This is Robbie Williams singing angel you've watched me grow up so far i want to get older with you lot please please don't leave me this is angels i see the Lord. does an angel contemplate my faith Do they know the places where we go when we're gray and old? Cause I've been told that salvation lets their wings unfold. So when I'm lying in my bed, Thoughts running through my head And I feel that love is dead I'm loving angels instead And through it Oh, she offers me protection A lot of love and affection Whether I'm right or wrong Down the waterfall Take me I'm loving angels instead Wow When I feel a weak And my pain walks down The one-way street I look above And I look Blessed with love And as the feeling grows She breathes flesh to my bones For when love is dead When I come 
How do celebrities <laughs> That's unbelievable. <laughs> that that mar that that uh, you won't even know what this means some of you. That rivals Woodstock. I've never seen a crowd that large. That's unbelievable. And they were singing every word. I said when I did Laura Fabian's Jatam that uh, the greatest compliment, compliment a singer can get is for their fans to sing the song with them. And that's what they were doing. They were singing every single word. I didn't get every single word, but I got enough of it to know that the song was about angels and about salvation. And I'm just stunned. I'm absolutely stunned. I've never seen a crowd that big since Woodstock. That's unreal. And Woodstock, if you know anything about it, was a mess. A real mess because it rained and it was, oh, it was nasty. But anyway, that's a whole nother subject. Man. Huh. Wow. And I've never heard of this guy. I've been living in a cave. I mean, you don't attract that many people to a concert unless you're really famous. And I've never heard of him. I can't believe that. That blows my mind. Wow. Hmm. It did make me think of something, though. Um... I could tell you a story, but it would take way too long. So I'm just going to tell you a little bit of it. Uh, my wife and I were involved in a Christian ministry. And one of the uh, adventures that we were tasked to do was to hitchhike from Indiana to New Mexico, go mountain climbing for 10 days, and then hitchhike back home. And... One of the things that they told us before we left, they, they gave us these little um, stickers that you could put in the windshield of a vehicle. 
it was a little it was a little shape of white dove and they told us if somebody gives you a ride ask them if they'll put this dove in their windshield and if you see someone with a dove in their windshield they'll give you a ride and we caught a ride from Indiana to St. Louis and when we got to St. Louis the guy dropped us off on the side of the road it, it was late it was nine or ten o'clock at night it was kind of chilly and we were very uncomfortable because of the cold we had all our camping gear and everything with us and uh, we stood on the side of the road till six o'clock in the morning with our thumb out and the place where he dropped us off was a um, one of the, what they call a clover leaf, you know, intersection of two major highways. And there was nothing there. There was no restaurants, no gas stations, no nothing. It was out in the country. And so there was nowhere for us to go. So we just stood there and we would alternate laying on a sleeping bag and taking a nap while the other one held out their thumb. And about six o'clock in the morning, this guy pulls up in a Volkswagen bug. Now, you know those are not very big. And also, their heaters don't work worth a flip. The, the Volkswagen Bug is, was, was famous, those ones back then, for not being warm. Well, this guy pulls up, and he says, where are you guys going? And we said, we're, well, we're headed to New Mexico. And he says, well, hop in. I can take you out a little ways. And so we were just grateful to get into a car and out of the cold. But man, when we got in, it was warm in that car. It was really nice and cozy. And we actually ended up taking our jackets off. And he drove us 70 miles west of St. Louis and dropped us off at a truck stop. And, you know, we obviously when you, you're riding with someone like that, you ask you talk and you ask questions and we asked him what were you doing out driving in the middle of the night like that and he said well I just got off of work and I couldn't sleep so I was driving around and I saw you guys and I thought what the heck I'll pick you up he drove us 70 miles to this day I'm convinced he was an angel now I know you know the 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 common understanding or belief about angels is that they're these uh, superior beings with wings and all this stuff. But um, angels are spiritual beings and they can, they can take the form of a human and appear to you and me as just another person. And I'm convinced that with the, because who in the world gets off work at six o'clock in the morning and then drives uh, to an unknown couple, picks them up on the interstate in the middle of absolutely nowhere and drives them 70 miles. Think about that. He, you know, if he was a normal human being, he'd be tired. He'd be wanting to go to bed. But he drove us. He dropped us off at a truck stop and we went in and we got hot coffee and bought breakfast and then we went back out to the entrance ramp and put our thumbs out but on the way out of the restaurant we saw a semi pulling in and parking and it had a white dove in the wind windshield so we walked up to the guy and we asked him if he'd be willing to give us a ride we asked him which way he's going he said i'm headed west we said would you give us a ride he said my insurance won't let me do that and he went in the restaurant and we didn't think anything more of it so we're standing on the side of the road with our thumbs out and half an hour 45 minutes goes by here comes this truck driving down the entrance ramp going through the gears and all of a sudden he hits the brakes you know that air brakes on those trucks they make a real loud noise <sighs> and he pushed open the pastor's side door he said hop in i can't let you kids stand out there and he took us all the way to new mexico <laughs> do you
you understand what I'm telling you? We got a ride. Well, no, it wasn't all the way to Mexico. It was to uh, uh, Amarillo, Amarillo, Texas. Sorry. We got a ride in the middle of the night from a guy who was supposedly getting off work in a Volkswagen that was as warm as any car I've ever been in, which Volkswagen bugs just were not warm at all. Anybody who's ever owned one knows that. And he dropped us off 70 miles west of St. Louis at a truck stop. And then we got a ride all the way to Amarillo. You tell me that wasn't God. That was just dumb luck. Coincidence, right? Yeah. Baloney. God will take care of you no matter what your circumstances are, no matter what your needs are. Ask and ye shall receive. Seek and you shall find. That's what the Bible says. It's not empty words, folks. Angels are real. And they can enter into your life at any time and help you. In ways that you would never dream of. Or never think of. Well, I don't know who Robbie Williams is. But I want to hear more of him. And learn more about him. <coughs> so, tell me what you know about Robbie in the in the uh, comments. I mean, with the crowd that he drew to that concert, he has to be a big deal. I can't believe I've never heard of him. Anyway, I pray for you that you will have an abundant life, that you'll live a long time, that you'll be healthy. And that God will keep you safe from harm. I pray that he'll do the same for every person that you love. But I pray most of all that you will be anxious for nothing. But in all things, through prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, you will let your requests be made known to God. And the peace that passes all understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This is the Vietnam Era Vet out.